Hey guys, Fushido of Team Bad Yugi's here. Welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Club. I've got another January 14 uh, deck profile for you. This time we're having Infernities, roughly based on Sahabi's, on Sahabi Kirdane's list from uh, some YCS uh, early in February. Um, now I say roughly based because it is not his entire list. There are a couple changes I've made due to how the format changed and how the knowledge of what was being played um, differentiated. Um... We have two Archfiends, or three Archfiends, two Stygian, two Monk, of course, the main combo pieces for the fours. We sti are sticking with his ratios, one Arma, one Greffer. Oh, two Necromancer, of course. Here are the threes. You see, since we don't, since I'm not playing a Lord of Darkness in this list, I'm cutting these down to two, because you really just don't want them opening in hand. Because you can't just pitch it out, you're not more likely. So just get it out of there. One Eris, of course. And then finally, one Dynatherium. This was a card that did exist during the latter half of the format. It wasn't really abused until Soul Charge, but knowing that this card was out then, it's a card that people slowly grew on into Infernities, but they didn't realize it at the time, just how good it was in the deck. But I'm including it in here instead of having the third Necromancer, and I'll tell you right now, it's been really nice. I'm definitely glad I put it in here. This is obviously an updated profile for my older list, and I'm definitely liking this list a lot. We have Triple Upstart, Double Instant Fusion, Foolish Burial, one Rota, one Transmodify, still the worst card in the deck, but it gets you there. I might cut it for Monster Gate, if I'm good and I can learn how to activate Monster Gate right. Uh, one Launcher, of course, one Book of Moon, and then Triple MST, with one Night Beam. And then for the Traps, we have Double Breakthrough, Double Mirror Force, Bottomless, Torrential, and Warning. And of course, for the Infernity Traps, we have Double Barrier and Triple Break. A lot of decks were playing Triple Barrier back in this format before it got limited, but then afterwards, when people, um, when this card got limited at the end of it, and people still were just like, well, we're playing one because Break's better, anyways. They were right. Break is better. It is nice having two barriers, though, but cutting it to one, I don't necessarily disagree with it. But Barrier is definitely a great card, don't get me wrong. Anyways, moving on to the extra deck, we have two Lavable Chain. Double Direwolf, we have 101, Exiton, Maestroke, Emerald, Abyss Dweller, Gaga Cowboy. Then we have Barox, not Camion Wizard because I haven't found one yet. Eh, I might just buy it online. One Fusionist, one Alucard, and one Levier. Great place, but you do not need two Levier. Free Soul Charge. The yellow card's really good for popping gear gears too. Oh my gosh, is it? But hey, that's the profile. This is uh 2014 Infernities. Um thank you for watching the video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill, you know the shell. Um make sure to check the subscription or make sure to check the description box for any uh, other good resources. There's links to other profiles, other formats, uh, duels. Um, special summon 18 times for game. What can I say?